Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are going to be jumping into the new God of Destruction event and taking on Hellas, who is the God of Destruction of Universe 2. And from what I've heard, she's actually been giving a lot of people trouble because of her ability to change her type every single turn, which obviously can be a little bit annoying, but honestly, I actually really like that because I feel like it gives us some more flexibility in our team building compared to the other stages where the God of Destruction is the same type for the entire time. And in that case, we're forced to kind of, you know, run a mono team as much as possible. Whereas for this one, you can really, I guess, run any team you want. Obviously, you still have to run a good team with like some good defenders but uh, there's just more variety. You can use different units of different types. And for the purpose of this video, we're going with the GT Heroes team, which is by far one of my favorite teams in the entire game. We got the double Fizz GT Goku as the leaders. And then we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, LRB Pan, and uh, Tech Gohan and Goten to round out the team. And there you have it guys. Oh, by the way, my support item is the Princess Snake and the support memory is the Gohan and Icarus. If you guys haven't tried this combination yet, definitely give it a shot because I'm feeling pretty good about this, about this run right now. So with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. We do have the attacks spread out a little bit, which concerns me just a bit. And we also have an AGL Hellas, which is not bad actually. Um, let's see, GT Goku has 195,000 defense, which should hold up. So I think I'm gonna leave him in the front, and then, yeah, we'll put the Gohan and Goten in the middle, or maybe at the end. Um, it's the same number of attacks, it just, it just depends on where the super comes. So I'm gonna assume the super comes in the middle, and after these guys super, they'll become really tanky, so I trust them to eat a super, if that's the case. Okay, let's just go for it. I could, like, debate this all day, so there we go, guys. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, real quick, I do want to give a quick shout-out to the sponsor of today's video. Oh, my God, we're getting super immediately. Oh, that's not a good start. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. It's okay. We'll live. We'll live. Um, the sponsor of today's video, Pain Shop on Twitter, they offer some decent discounts on stone prices for iOS users, so if you guys are interested in that, then feel free to check the link in my description for their Twitter page. You can DM them directly from there and uh, place your order. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Ah, Alright, so that was not the greatest start, guys. Um, <laughs> but it happens. I think we're going to recover from this. I'm not going to, you know, freak out yet because, uh, you know, it's a good team. It's a good team and we can recover. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. All right. So we got our Icarus and Gohan. Now this turn, she is tech, which is awesome for our Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm definitely going to place him in the middle. I'm trying to, th trying to see if I should maybe use an item. Let's pop the Princess Snake. Let's pop the Princess Snake just to be extra safe. And then... I want to save as many orbs for my Goku as possible. Uh, if we do this, then that should be... Oh, nice. Seven orbs for GT Goku. That looks good. Okay. Okay. So, rough start, but things are getting under control now. And uh, we might not have to use another item for the rest of the run. But we'll see. Okay. <laughs> of course, the super would be on the first slot where there's only like two attacks. And not the second slot where there's like 5,000. But that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Sometimes RNG just isn't on your side. But as you can see, man, Hellas is going down pretty fast. She's going down hella fast, so uh, I'm not really worried. I'm not really worried. Probably. 
look at that attack stat. Okay, one thing that I really love about this team um, is just the ridiculous damage output, man, of like everybody on this team. Like everybody just does stupid damage. We, she's already half dead. Or, or more than, I think she's actually more than half dead already. And we're only five minutes into the video. So yeah, give this team a shot. Obviously, you know, not everyone has as good of a as a, of a setup, I, I realize, but it's just a really powerful team. And uh, I'm gonna pop that Princess Snake, just, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, let's see, got eight orbs there. Let's just give one to the Go Bros. And uh, Vegeta can hold his own, I know that. So, so yeah, we should be fine there. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, this team is just, <laughs> The, the, the damage is off the charts and even though we don't have any like ridiculous tanks we got some good tanks don't get me wrong we don't have any like op tanks we don't really need it when we're taking her down this quickly right so as long as we can kill her before she kills us we're good to go and for these stages it's actually not really a bad strategy to like try to rush the boss i mean they do have a lot of hp they do have a lot of defense so it's not always going to work but in this case, it's working really, really well. And, oh. I forgot she can dodge. It's pretty rare though. I'm pretty sure that the dodge chance is not very high, but I forgot that, yeah, I think all the all the gods can actually dodge. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, with good, good RNG, this could have been a no item run. If the supers had hit the people we wanted them to hit, then I don't think I would have needed to even pop an item, um, you know, on this run. But of course, it didn't work out that way. I'm going to pop some active skills just to extend this run a little bit because I feel like it's just too quick. <laughs> I feel like it went by so fast that it doesn't really feel like a satisfying win, honestly. So yeah, let's let's see some active skills. Let's see some nice animations here. Uh, maybe I should let Goku finish things up. No. Gogeta? No, let's let Goku finish things off. And if he doesn't finish things off, then Gogeta will definitely get the job done. But regardless, this will be the last turn. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed the run. Give GT Heroes a try, though. I promise you, it'll... I guess it depends on your, your actual units. But if you have the right units, you will see some good results. And uh, there you have it, man. Gogeta didn't even have a chance to really show what he's all about, but that that's all right. Okay, there's no way this run took 11 minutes. If you guys record the, or time the actual run, it must, must have been like five minutes at most, or maybe six. I'm gonna say six minutes, but um, I was like doing some prep before the video started, so. That's why it says 11 minutes. But anyways, um, that's Hellas, man. I'll be back probably with a, is it Ewan? Ewan run. I'll be back with a Moscow run. But Tella, I still need to actually beat because uh, I had some pretty bad luck with my runs. But we'll get him too. We'll get him too. But there you have it, guys. Uh, what's her name again? Hellas. Hellas. Beat down. Smashed. Done. Don't need to go back to her, and uh, let me know in the comments down below which, which you guys did uh, to beat her, what teams you used. I'm sure people had a variety of different teams. Like I said, man, because of her type changing, you actually can do like a bunch of different teams to beat that stage, whether it be Majin Buu Saga or Kamehameha, so on and so forth. And we didn't even have to use the, uh, what you call it, the Tech Khalifla, because a lot of people are using her to dodge attacks but I went with a much more offensive approach and as you can see it still worked pretty well so there you have you guys hope you enjoyed the video as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
Signing out.